Alrighty, g'day everyone, how are we going? Today's video is going to be part of a series that'll do. Um, it's going to be like a how to series. So, on today's agenda is how to mow thick, high grass, get it down to a good uh, manageable height by purely mulching rather than bagging it up and, um, and spending more time doing that. Start at a higher setting, slowly work your way down into the lawn um, as you're going through. Just got a young bloke out the back there now, he's sorting out the backyard with the mower. I'm going to get some footage of that as well as um, the edging. Take note of the edging in the direction in which I'm going to stop it flicking back at you. I've watched a lot of people uh, on YouTube, just day to day. They walk, tend to be too, because I'm left handed, I walk to the right and then the head spinning anti-clockwise, it's always spinning away from me. Uh, whereas a lot of right handers I see him to see going to the left and then that head's flicking debris straight back into them so if they're not using a guard which I don't on the snipper they're going to get that debris straight back into their legs which isn't fun uh, especially when you collect rocks and things like that so it's something to take note of and um, just the pattern as well with the snipping with the edging so it's a how to video on how to get it down from being thick also a little bit of a how to video on edging when it's thick um, and you'll see I'll take the edge first so you'll see at the front here, I'll go through in, in a fashion where I'm on this side, snipper's always on sort of my right shoulder, the whole way around, come back along, and then from there, I can turn up sideways to get that nice crisp edge. Obviously being mindful of anything that was in your way, uh, being windows or people or anything you could damage, nothing on that side is, so you're right to do it. And then working your way down over that way, you're too far away from anything up this end, so you'll be right. So you'll see in the video, take note of the, the process that's involved. And I'm going to be doing a follow-up one on how to edge specifically. But anyway, we'll get out here. I'll show you what's going on. Probably get a double cut out here. It's fairly long, fairly thick still, uh, and damp. It's sort of 20 past 11. The dew is still real heavy, so you'll see it in this video. Right, set this up in the shade. Hopefully you can see everything going on in the background as well. I'm sorry, I'm just having a look. Yeah, that looks all right. I'll get on the other side here so you're not looking at my mug. <laughs> if we can. Might have to take this on the road. You'll see this one clearly, you'll see this one to a point, but you'll see, I'll go over the top first, then I'll calm back around and do on the edge, and then when you finish out the front here, the car's just that way, so you want to work your way out, go to the backyard, work your way out.
okay, just quickly, take note, the front of the uh, deck is kicked up a little bit. It allows for airflow into the underside of the deck. Just get this off. The lens. What that enables the uh, bolting to do, it, it enables it to mulch properly. So, once you get all the bulk of it down like this, I'm at setting C and D on this uh, Toro, which is like three and a quarter to two and three quarters at the back. I'm about to drop it to two and a quarter across the entire lot, front and back. Now, if it was thicker than this, I would do D, like setting at the front, E on the back, and then bring it down to E on the, on the like, third pass it would actually be, the third time we're over this whole lawn. Uh, it's not too bad. It'll end up looking nice at uh, setting E, and then I'll just see uh, if it needs another double cut at the uh, opposite direction, going sideways, and then really stand them grass blades up. Uh, but otherwise, that's the... Uh, part and parcel of it when it's this long you want to just slowly take it down when you're purely mulching if you're bagging you can get away with taking the bulk off but at the same time you're going to tear that grass blade it, when it's that long it wants to tear it just wants to twist on itself before it actually gets cut and especially when it's not pure turf it, it's got weeds in amongst it, it's got all these other things they want to wrap around them blades and slow them down so hopefully you get something from this video uh, in the next ones I'll really be showing you some overgrown uh, edging properties that I can do and how you do that on the concrete with just the whip stimper alone without using an edging tool. So that's something that you really need to know, um, especially for efficiency and getting onto your next lawn. You don't want to have to be going back to your ute for another bit of uh, kit, another bit of gear. If you've got that stipper ready to go, you can go around it, you're already here. All right. So we'll get some footage, like some mowing footage of this. We'll finish it all off. Everything that's left over on the side here, you can see uh, all the way up. There's nothing really too, well, there's not too much debris left over is what I'm saying, that you can't blow that back on the lawn. Um, especially with the rain we're getting and everything else, that's all just gonna get broken up even quicker. All the bugs, everything's active right now. Um, all them little microorganisms are gonna be loving this rain, so. A lot, of, a lot of these properties were starting to go brown, going dormant in the winter, and we've had this rain the last week and a bit. Everything's bouncing up, but these warmer days are still soil temps. They're still holding around that 15 degrees, so there's still some growth happening, but they're starting to drop. So you'll see over the coming weeks who actually looks after their lawns and their clients' lawns, because you'll have a major stark comparison between the two. All right, that'll do for the talk. We've got to keep this in 10 minutes, all right? So yeah. Alrighty, so as you saw there on the passes, I was doubling up, so I was going one direction and I was going on that very same pass the other direction. What that does is it stands up any loose um, grass blades, especially being this damp, they want to push over. You want to stand them back up the other opposite direction, really make sure that final cut is your final cut. So it means this one actually had three times you're going over uh, the same areas, however that first time was at a higher setting just to get rid of the bulk and then you're doing the polish at the end. Still in my opinion a lot quicker than bagging um, even doing that method. But the thing is when you're doing a regular visit you're not going to be doing anything this long. It's been months since I've been on this one and and that's the difference. That means prices change due to uh, how long it takes um, and obviously the garden works and everything else that is getting added here today but as I was saying before, what you're left with isn't a great deal. Uh, and that's fine to go back on that lawn. So as you can see, you just get the edges back in line. It's just a quick tidy up for a final 
um, tidy up, ready for the next people to come into this unit. And other than that guys, that's, just, that's about it for this video. Um, trying to keep them short and sweet. I'll speed up the footage and I'll slow it down if I need to in places just to really focus in on what I'm talking about. But each one will just be a quick how-to. There's going to be different ones. You're going to come across a lot worse than this. But in saying that, you need to know the process. Um, even as far down as don't stop your mower in the middle of the yard when you're mulching because everything you've mulched up sits underneath that deck. As soon as you turn them blades off, it just wants to drop. So if you're in the middle of the yard, everything's going to come out of that deck and sit over that area. You're going to have to clean that up. So I tend to do it out on the concrete or at this time, I just did it right on the edge here knowing that I cleaned out the deck just before I started them passes and then I mulched it all up anyway. So just little things as you pick up, you'll pick up little um, tips and hints yourself and you'll make it applicable to you and what you're doing. But whether you're using one of these units or one of those units or anything smaller, it doesn't matter, the concept's the same. So as long as you keep trying these same methods, you're not gonna go uh, wrong with any of them. So. Alright, thanks again guys, I'll finish this off and um, yeah, plenty more to come this week. I'm going to try and get the three out a week, just for these quick ones. We'll see how that goes, see if we can get the uh, word out there a bit more. So like, subscribe and share with your friends and we'll keep these coming. Uh, and then I'll get more in detail as we go along and any questions, just send them through. I'm more than happy to help, so thanks guys. Have a great evening. Bye.